Hey guys, this is Darwin from The Honeydew Carpenter and this is the first time you'll see him on our channel. We had a different video series we were trying to put together, but we've had such a cold influx of rain and we might get snow. It's really cold weather and so the project we were working on is not going to happen right now. We're going to go for a simpler one. Yeah. Darwin knew we were freezing in our cabin so he came up with a great solution we're excited to show you because it's super cheap. Right? right? Super, super cheap? Super, super cheap. Okay. So I am, I'm still building a rocket mass heater for her cabin but in the interim I'm going to use a uh, Yukon stove. A Yukon stove is something that I became familiar with when I was in the military. I served in Alaska as an Arctic soldier and we used Yukon stoves. I was able to source one through an army surplus uh, buddy of mine and uh, I've had it for like 15 years. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to set up a uh, temporary brick pad in her cabin. We're going to put a little bit of corrugated steel to create a buffer under the on the floor and then I'm going to put some bricks down and we'll put the stove on that. When I store this stove I, I cover it in mineral oil or olive oil and right now we're just going to set it up outside and start it up and burn all that stuff off before we get started on our project. Cool. All right so let's get setting it up. This is it. This is a self-contained Yukon stove. Okay the legs just pop out like that. The door opens and then you have the stove pipe in there just like that. They're all inside one another so it's a tapered uh, stove pipe system. So you pull this one out of that one, so on and so forth. When you set this thing up you just take the flanges on the first section of stove pipe after you close the bottom up and it just sits on there and with one little twist that's how it is and then the stove is set up that quick it ends up being about two feet long and about maybe eight or ten nine or ten inches wide so I'm gonna put the first section and they're numbered the, the pipes are numbered this is one this is two three and so on I don't know, can you see that number on there? Yes. Oh, cool. There's one. Of course, when we set it up in our cabin, we're going to put an elbow here and run it out of a window, and I'm going to put a, a sheet metal uh, system through the window to make this work for us. And I think what I might do is just bring a bunch of bricks out and we can stack bricks all around it. And those bricks will get warm while the stove is going. And then even after the fire goes out, those bricks will keep off putting off heat in the night and it'll still probably be pretty warm in the morning. And then you can get up and just start another fire. So the bizarre thing about this is that between the rocket mass heater, this stove, and the other stove, probably at some time there will be some overlap so that we'll have three wood burning devices in our tiny 12 by 32 house at one time. <laughs> That's a lot for a tiny house. You'd think one, just one would do, but... No, you have to go big or go yeah, home. Yeah, right? So, super excited. Okay, did you grab them? Okay. Okay, Kaya, can you go and get the matches? Mm -hmm. Um, this opens up right here and I actually have a heating element that sits in there. It has three little legs and then a tube that comes off and you can actually run a gasoline hose off of a tripod with a, a gas can or something set up on it and you can run a drip system, drip, drip, drip and all you have to do is get some flame going and prime it and then it goes it's, it makes the coolest noise when you're burning fuel in it. That's awesome. Yeah, so this, is, this can burn oil, gas, diesel, or wood. <laughs> no, I only need one, usually. I'll bet you can. Can you see it? Yep. Getting going. The noise, you gotta get this sound. It's a, it's a very unique sound it makes. It makes a real deep. Uh huh. 
That is already burning I think you might even be able to cook on that. Oh, you can. In fact, I brought you a cooking plate that fits really? on the deal. Yeah. That's so cool.